Hello everybody, it's Dr. Amy coming to you with another lunchtime inspiring moment. I hope everybody is doing well today. What are you up to today? How are you feeling today? So on this lunchtime inspiring moment, I have a message for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, because it's the beginning of the week, I want to say to everybody, let's get intentional. Let's get intentional. And I have the uh, uh, a major question for you. Are you pursuing what truly matters to you? Are you pursuing what truly matters to you? Think about that. What are you getting into these days? What's What are you pursuing? What's keeping you occupied? What are you doing? What are you chasing? What are you pursuing? And are you pursuing what truly, truly, really, really matters to you? And when I talk about Getting intentional, let me just remind you that it means being purposeful, being deliberate in your thoughts and your actions and your choices, being deliberate in your thoughts, in your actions and in your choices. So being intentional again involves being, um, how do I put it, having that conscious direction, pointing your direction um, towards the energy and putting focus on those things that truly, truly matters to you rather than just um, letting things happen by default in your life. So what are you, what can you get intentional about this week? What, how can, what intentions can you set for the week? You know, when we're talking about are you pursuing what truly matters to you, you know, what what are some of the things that you can do different this week? Because you know, if we keep doing the same things, we're going to get the same results, right? So what can you do different this week? It can start from something small. It doesn't have to be something huge and big, but what can you do differently this week towards achieving your goals. No, and I should say, what are, you know, say to yourself, what are some of those goals that you have, that you have in your heart, things that you want to get accomplished before the end of the year? Again, another month is going by. What are some of the goals that you had in your mind or that you wrote down for um, 2023, right? What steps can you take to move closer to those goals. What steps can you take? And for me, I'm going to say something so you guys can hold me accountable. I am relaunching, and I shouldn't even say relaunch because I've been doing it for a while, but my signature coaching program, we have some openings. People have been asking about it for a while, so I'm so proud. I have to finally release that thing for new people to come in, and that's one of my goals uh, by the end of August. So look for some advertisement from me. And if you don't see it, hold me accountable. Is it Dr. Amy, where is that information on that new coaching and mentoring program? And, and I'm so excited about this baby. This is my baby. I feel like, you know, one of those things where you feel like you're giving birth to, you know, I've worked so hard on it and I have people in the program that I've seen just tremendous results. So it's one of those things if you ever thought about getting into a coaching program where you can go from where you are now to where you want to be because there's a lot going on. This program is exclusively, exclusively for those people who are feeling sick and tired of, you know, all this going on in the workplace, not knowing if your name is going to be next on that list to be downsized, right sized, lose your job. So what I'm saying to you and what I talk about so much in this community is setting yourself up now. Make sure you have that business on the side going on where your business is thriving, where you're making that extra money, where whatever those people decide to do at that job is not going to impact you. As you guys know, and for, for those who don't know, I am a former HR executive. So I know how these cutbacks um, um, and, and everything can impact impact families. Actually, I just had someone from one of the companies that I work with last who, you know, just told me that 50 more people just got um, downsized from their company. These, you know, companies look out for how they can cut costs. And unfortunately, it's the people who are the highest salaries or either the lowest salaries that normally get cut first, but you don't know. So while you have a job, while you have extra income, while you have disposable income, 
pour into yourself, invest in yourself, get something set up. And that's what I specialize in. I, I have to first help you to create that mindset to do it first. You can't just have a thriving business if you don't have that right mindset because entrepreneurship as we love it, I love the flexibility. I love the freedom. I love the financial freedom. I love the lifestyle freedom, but it does take work. And But what gives me joy and what gives other people joy who are entrepreneurs are you're putting in that work for yourself for your family for your own business so let's get intentional let's get intentional i'm talking to you and and for this program i'm really honing in on those females women mid and senior level women professionals Let, let's get ourselves together let's make sure we have that backup plan but not just a backup plan one where don't don't be surprised you can start a thriving business and end up creating more side income than you're making on your nine to five. And we're not talking just a little bit of money. We, we can do it over here and I can help you. So what are some of the things that you can, with steps that you can take this, this week to move closer to your goals? That's the main piece here. What can I inspire and motivate you to do to move closer to your goals, your dreams, your desires? That's the point of this conversation today. So let me know. Put it in the chat if you like, or continue to send me an email at dramy at amyheims.com. And I said, let's get intentional. Let's get intentional. Let's continue to take steps, steps towards our goals and our dreams, whatever that might be. Let's not stay stagnant. Let's change. Let's grow. Let's develop. Let's go from that caterpillar to that beautiful butterfly. And it takes work my friends, it takes work. But when you get there and you're doing what you truly, truly desire, I'm telling you, that's where your personal goals and your professional goals will be aligned and your heart will just be singing all of the time. So be grateful for what you already have and let's get on board to take this thing to where you want to go. But also in doing that, I and big on saying, giving thanks, I give my Heavenly Father thanks for all of the blessings bestowed upon me, all of the grace that's given to me, and just for every day, for life, health, being in my right mind, and being able to do the things that, that I dreamt about decades, decades ago, right? I am living in my purpose. I understand my assignment. Do you understand yours? There are people out there that need your help. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's do it. I am Dr. Himes and I am here to help you reset your mindset, develop your skill set and get on board to live out all of those dreams that's inside your heart. Let's go, sisters. Let's go, brothers. Let's go. I'll see you right back here the next time. And you have a wonderful day. Start this week off strong, my friends. Start off strong. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter what happened last week. This is a new day, a new beginning, a new week. Let's go. You can change. You can do it. Let's go.